Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to my weekly Sunday card reading and this spread will cover September 8th to the 14th or whenever you're guided to watch as these readings are always meant to be timeless. So welcome, um, we've been on this spiritual journey and one of the messages that I got from creator Scott source the universe before I started was we're being reminded that this spiritual journey in this lifetime is a marathon it's not a sprint and with that I was guided to work with the feminine energy so whether you're a man or a woman watching this uh, masculine energy or feminine energy this is going to appeal to your inner feminine energy the words that i keep getting to embrace this week and going forward at least through the end of the year creator and god sees the the need for nurturing self-love to the depth of truly appreciating you and your journey and all that you've accomplished up until this point so the words that I keep that keep coming up for me in sessions and for myself is the word cherish the word nourish and the word receive so if you have a regular meditating practice meditating on those words can bring in powerful insight so I started to pull out cards and they weren't feeling right. So I kind of sat with it in a moment and said, all right, God, I said, you're, you're, you're guiding me to this marathon energy, not a split sprint, reminding the Earth Angel Collective that we're on a journey, that we're on a journey of an awakening in this lifetime, no matter what your age is at this point in time, or whenever you're guided to watch this, you're on a journey of like evolution. And you have an opportunity to consciously, as an awakened spiritual being, have an opportunity to handpick the people, places, things, and ideas that really resonate with the essence of who you truly are in this lifetime. But remember, you're choosing for lifetimes following. Forward. So there's a lot of separation happening, a lot of shifts in the soul groups and the people that we were connected to. There's a lot of, uh, like I said, I can just see the word separation and, and, and shifting. And with that, it leaves the earth angel energy, us, sometimes feeling alone or lonely or feeling gr like grief energy. Um, but really, it's just the process of growth and expansion are the ascension energy so that's where i feel like god is validating the space that you're in and knowing now more than ever that you need that nourishing that nourishing energy um that feeling of feeling cherished whether it be through the divine or as you're doing things to cherish yourself and then also too in order to feel those things you have to be in receiver mode it cannot be in that wounded feminine energy of that martyr that i'm going to keep pushing through and i'm going to make things happen and i'm going to force things that is not going to work out well for you trust me i tried to do it for many years and it's about surrendering into the will of the energy of what is whatever that higher power is for you it's not about control over it's about surrendering into like a new direction you know i'm getting that image of people on a canoe or a kayak and just fighting the current and paddling upstream and so i feel like when you release the fight when you release the oars of trying to make things happen and force things and what happens is the boat naturally shifts and goes down and you got ease and there's so many more beautiful things than you can see instead of fighting and resisting. So I was guided to pull out the Mother Mary cards. As I said, we're gonna be using the feminine, tapping into the feminine energy. So I'm gonna start with the Mother Mary cards and for clarifiers and to enhance her message, I have the Oracle of the Angels deck. And then I also have these Oracle cards, the Divine feminine i've been dying to put a reading like this together for a while and now is the time and then i have the whispers of love deck and finally the soulful woman deck so we've got beautiful feminine energy here so i'm going to ask them to bring in nourishing 
messages that will cherish your soul. So I guess I guess I'm trying to say, be open to receiving nourishing messages that will cherish your soul. <laughs> All right, so let's see how this is going to unfold. I'm just going to keep the books close. And let me open up space, invite in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light. I'm also going to ask and invite in the Holy Spirit energy, the Holy Spirit, the divine feminine, the goddess energy for love and supportive mess for loving and supporting messages and i'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned all right mother mary what message do you have for the collective this week as i channel this the 8th to the 14th what message do they need to know Slippery, but they're not coming out. So, what's the most important message they need to know? Here we go. I think I'm going to pull one more. One more? Yes, one more. Let's go. All right, friends. Let's begin. So, the first card we have joy and the message says by enjoying this moment i am giving thanks to god for my life joy has been a message that's been coming out through the sacral chakra through the color orange if you've been following me for a while now it's a theme that's been coming up so the orange color itself had been coming up the sacral chakra energy itself had come been has was has been coming up and now the actual word joy energy is coming up and so this is that part of when you're nourishing yourself and you're in the space of feeling cherished you're in the present moment when you're in receptor mode and receiving you are in the present moment and so if you're not feeling like, oh, Gladys, I need more joy in my life or I need happiness or I need to feel fulfilled, all it's been is work. So I would, I would suggest pausing and then giving yourself some time in meditation or prayer to invite the Holy Spirit, divine feminine, goddess energy in, whatever that energy is for you. It's the heart of the dove. Um, and in that, you can have a true deeper connection to your soul mission, to the essence of your soul vibration, to the blueprint of your soul's journey here on this planet. And a lot more things can come in through joy. Joy, I feel, is a gateway to receiver energy. When people are feeling joyful or they're happy, so much more opens up for you to receive um, and have faith. I mean, beautiful. Already, these words, joy and faith. Oh, I just feel peaceful. I feel supported. I feel loved through these words. And the message, she says, is I have faith in God to heal this situation. So if you're going through an experience right now that you feel is kind of robbing you of your joy or it's um, hindering you from feeling that true joy or blissful energy creator saying have faith because remember I was saying the faith is like the vehicle to receiving answers and guidance and things shifting um, let me see here let me pause for a moment oh yeah it's a marathon not a sprint. So so one of the messages that I'm getting from that higher power from God, source, creator is, is there is expectation to doubt. There is expectation to question, to wonder. And it really is 
it, it's good, especially for the human spirit to have some degree of doubt because in turn, it turns your attention to creator. When everything is unicorns and rainbows in your life and, and glitter and feeling happy and, and rosy, you know, we have a tendency to kind of steer away from our regular practices, connecting and being in that divine energy. A lot of times it's through the challenges and through the struggle that brings us back. And now more than ever, the planet needs the divine light. It needs that vibration of unconditional love. And you who are watching this video, myself included, are part of the carrier of that high vibration of, of light. It's that capital L energy so you have a mission you have a reason for being here and it's almost like you've had to shed like dead weight you've had to shed old belief systems old ways of doing things and I just feel like we're in this we're in this period of recharging and like oh like we've done all the work now we've got to take a time out and nourish our souls cherish our bodies be open to receiving gifts from the universe I um was on my way earlier to a, a festival and I was just asking the angels for VIP treatment. I knew it was gonna be a very busy time. And, and I, went, I went at a very busy time and I just asked the angels to kind of show me VIP treatment and help me kind of get in and, and find a spot and you know be in good space because I knew there were gonna be a lot of people. And so would you know I came around the corner and sure enough, just as I came around the corner, there was a man getting in his vehicle and he was getting ready to pull out. It was like the universe was like waiting for me and all I had to do was ask and I and I just kind of pulled in the spot and you know it was a little tight and so I sat there a minute and would you know the couple that was in the car in front of me came at that time and it gave me the opportunity to pull up like right to the curb so when I left all I had to do was like kind of like turn a corner and 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 leave and get out of there I didn't even have to be in the chaos and that's what I mean that's that part of me being worthy and open to receiving because again when I feel good the people around me will feel good and when they feel good the people around them will feel good and when they feel good the people are so really it's your own energy and law of attraction is based on feeling how are you feeling and again if you're if you're stuffed with have to's and shoulds and bitterness and anger and frustration and guess what it's going to create it's going to create more of that and this is where I feel like the Holy Spirit energy is coming in and saying rest my child cherish and nourish your body and watch how energy just moves in front of you and and then at that point you have to be open to receiving these divine gifts from the universe they want to light you up they want to gift to you and in turn that brings joy and then you're able to spread the word of faith right you're able to spread that word of love so i could share those minor things that the universe created for me but it's also help me sustain my energy and feel really good and help me it helps me feel like I'm in alignment with creator so let's go into the oracle of angels cards let's get some additional messages can you expand holy spirit energy heart of the dove divine feminine goddess energy can you expand on the words joy and faith what additional messages do you have comfort oh, I love it this is what Creator wants for us. This is how He wants us to feel. So some of you, again, as it's a general reading, some of you may be needing this. Some of you may be needing love and hugs more than anything. You really don't need to be told that you have to do more, say more, be more. They're saying, rest in my arms. You're in the arms of the angels. This is that beautiful, loving energy that's here to support you. And a lot of times you have to be open to receiving that. So maybe you have a, a lover. Maybe you have a significant other, a beautiful person um, that can do this for you. Um, you know, I feel like it's the message of saying you need love and hugs, comfort. One more message. Inner child, your inner child, she needs love. 
or he needs love. They need comfort. And you've got this beautiful soul right here who's sitting in nature, right? 22, have faith. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, man, these all already nurturing, nourishing messages. And it's like she's sitting on this yellow. She's got the yellow bird. She's got the yellow blanket she's sitting on this is solar plexus energy this is your empowerment i feel like we have beautiful yellow energy here i feel like god is saying or coming in or the holy spirit energy is coming in and saying that we're here to empower you we're here to uplift you and so this is a message for some of you if you're seeking external joy right outside of you it could be creating some funky energy within it could make you be doubting faith that creator will show up for you so i can tell you i know and the divine knows you're waiting for things to happen now i don't mean just waiting i'm waiting for things to happen there's been a lot of manifestations on pause there's been a lot of things that the earth angel collective has has been working towards doing inner work to bring in new love to bring in that that healthy career or that job it, to bring in that that family energy to bring in children to bring in mutually supportive friendships and i feel like i feel like that energy's been kind of like on ice it's been frozen a little bit and 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 it's that desire for more right it's a desire for more that is creating this uh these these resistance or these these i don't want to describe it it's creating these it's bringing up the things that we need to move through and work uh how do i want to say that it's bringing up challenges and adversity or the, this wanting of the thing, whether it's a partnership, a love, a new job, a child, a marriage, deeper bonds or deeper connections spiritually, uh, uh, again, a, a healing practice and, and, and clients, and maybe it's prosperity and money, money and abundance. God knows, God knows your desires and he doesn't want you to build your foundation on sticks and so it's almost like the earth angel collective is doing the work right now they're doing the inner work and they're learning how to self-soothe nurture and be mindful of your own physical mental emotional and spiritual body and you've been doing a lot of quote unquote work and I feel like right now the Holy Spirit energy is coming in and wanting to nourish your soul wanting to nurture your inner child wanting to bring in joy which will increase and enhance your faith in the divine so so powerful so beautiful okay so let's go into the divine feminine cards um, I don't use these too often, so I have the book here. So let me tap into the feminine energy. What message do you have for the collective this week? What do they need to know? Okay. Castilla? the goddess of sanctuary. Of course, no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Friends, look how beautiful. Once again, she's surrounded by this golden light. One of the readings, I think it was last week, I, I had the gold energy. The gold energy came in, it was precious beautiful precious energy oh, the goddess of sanctuary so I feel like the Holy Spirit energy is saying I'm your sanctuary I'm your escape and she's also saying let me in so many of you have been in this masculine energy. This masculine energy is penetrative. Feminine energy is magnetic, okay? So a lot of you have been in this masculine hunt, make things happen energy. And 
it is it's good to a point but if you're not balancing it with nurturing energy people places things and ideas that cherish your soul if you're not in receptor mode you're always going to feel like you're doing and so for this week I encourage you to create your own inner sanctuary for your inner child. You'd be amazed at how smart she or he is and how powerful they are. But in order to bring in more, whatever that is, whatever that thing is that you're working towards, that you're menaced, in order to bring in more, your inner child or those parts within you need to know that regardless of what happens, you have their back. Your own self needs to know that when things get busier and you start to get overwhelmed, that you have really great skills and tools to pull back and practice really good self-care. Self-care could be a spiritual mentor. It could be support from a spiritual mentor. It could be a mental health professional. It could be laying down, getting in bed, listening to some soothing music and nurturing. Now I have to say, earth angels weren't raised like that. We weren't raised to self-soothe and really take care of ourselves. You know, especially those who grew up in like um, really strict religion backgrounds. There's this sacrifice energy. There's this martyr energy of like push yourself keep going force your things to happen you've got wounds your body needs to heal and you're still fighting it you're still pushing through that is not going to be beneficial to anybody especially yourself because it's just a, a breeding ground for anger resentment and bitterness and so if you've been feeling that energy if you've been filling with this toxic energy and especially as an empathic person you know it's like uh it's like a piece of furniture that like collects dust you know just being in and around people it's like you pick up dust but it's not something that you should feel powerless over it's, it's what makes your soul so beautiful it what it's what it's it's what gives you the ability to go in and be of service to humanity it really is that empathic energy is so sacred and so powerful. It really is a superpower. It really is what gave Mother Teresa the ability to go in and serve people, right? And be and be the the nurturing mother maternal energy that humanity needed at that time. And now it's just exploded. And now there's a lot more earth angels waking up to be of service to people and you're going to do that through jobs you're going to do it through co committed healthy relationships and, and this is where the creator's been coming in and saying you're going to be the example right creator's going to bless you for your ability to bless others he's not going to bless you for it being self-serving he's going to bless you abundantly he's going to bless you with um with 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 gifts he's going to bless you with with support so that you can share your story and your journey and help humanity find a deeper faith in joy. And right now, I feel like the collective is tired. And I think this is where the Holy Spirit energy needed to come in. And maybe a lot of you didn't grow up with with mamas or, or dads that loved gave you love and hugs and I, I say more than ever this is why my business is called heavenly hugs because I, I know that the earth angels need hugs and love more than anything you don't need to be told what to do you don't need to be pushed you don't need to say to be to hear that you're not doing enough right we already carry this not enough vibration from upbringing and so I feel like you need to hear that it's okay for you to receive love and hugs and ask for it. Remember, if you've got people in your life, if they don't know what you need, right, they can't give that to you. And this is the degree of self-love that I'm talking about. What are your needs? For me personally, I need sleep. I, to be able to do the work at the capacity that I do my work, 
I need sleep and I need regular breaks. I need regular downtime to do nothing. So I've really had to adjust in a lot of ways um, so that I can do that. I also need really great supportive people in my life. And so I feel like a lot of you right now are in a flush period. You're in a purge period, you're in a flush period, and you're just seeing, you're seeing the truth of a lot of things and it's not always pleasant. And I feel like this week or whenever you're guided to watch this, this is the energy that you need. And I have to say, I almost feel like this needs to carry in through the end of the year. And I think you're going to find how powerful that rest, feminine, Holy Spirit energy is. Because this is where the answers are. If you are in a place right now that you're stuck, like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't know what the next step is, and I'm doing all these things, and nothing's happening, and I'm in this worry mode, I'm worrying about this, I'm worrying about that, stop. Just stop. Time out. Find him or her. You're probably maybe crying in a corner. That's where mine was, crying in a corner, in a dark, dark space. And that was really hard. It was really hard for me to experience. And so I needed to do this for her. And I've been doing this for her for an entire year. I need to define this place, this connection, this sanctuary. And in it, it enhanced my faith more than I can even explain. And it's brought me tremendous joy on my soul journey. Soul as in my higher journey and then soul as in singular journey. All right, so let's get some whispers of love messages. What loving message? Not that these weren't already beautiful loving energies. What does the Holy Spirit want you to know about love? Love in all facets, because really, love, love is what we're moving towards. Love is the space of all creation. All right, let's see. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. I love it. And look at this beautiful city. You have this beautiful soul here looking out to the universe and the heavens. This goes along with the faith. Let God in. Let him in. Let in that Holy Spirit, divine feminine energy in. That's the receiver mode. You've got knowledge and wisdom. Of course, we have 40 here, right? Four is the angel number and zero is um, my symbol for God um, and his vibration. So it's universal. Be in the present. If you've been in a space of looking backwards, the past, what was, the, 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 the glimmers of joy that you had in the past, know that that was just a start of what could be. And you really got to be open to receiving so much more that you are worthy and deserving of, of so much more. And, it, and it's a call back to the present moment. And dream of the future. That, that for me almost feels like dream of how you want to feel going forward. Maybe it's peace, maybe it's comfort, comfort, maybe it's happiness, maybe it's love, maybe it's abundance. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for that. And when you're here and in here and connecting here, you are in the present moment. All right, so let's finish up here. So these are these are new these are new new cards to me. Um, I'm gonna just share you with the bo share the box with you. So I, I was just guided to get them, and it says nurturance, empowerment, and inspiration for the feminine soul. I love it. I mean, beautiful messages. I would I would like to do more readings just designed around the feminine energy. Uh, let me know if that'd be something if you're interested in. Um, if if the feminine energy is new to you and you're 
learning how to tap in. That is the manifestor energy. It's the creator energy. So if you've got projects you're working on or things you want to complete, tapping into the feminine energy um, is powerful. Uh, but there is a lot of rest. There's a lot of meditation. There's a lot of tapping into your own intuition in that vibration. There's not a lot of like, let's say, action and doing. So I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit divine feminine goddess energy the heart of the dove what final message do you have for the earth angel collective this week what nurturing empowering message do you have what is your desire for the collective this week Oh, feminine law of attraction. Yes, 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 yes. So remember that thing, quote unquote, that thing that I said, if you're feeling like you're waiting for that thing, this is how to do it. Tapping into the feminine energy of nurturing. Look, it's almost like, it's like being pregnant with this. Here's this golden energy again, right? This is the, the, the wealth. This is the enrichment because re remember when we're open to receiving this energy and you are blessed wholeheartedly and abundantly and you're going to be able to be so full that you'll be a magnet for the people who need to receive that and see it and understand it so they can shift and change i can tell you in the shadow in the shadow or or in the shadow part there's a lot of addiction right now there's a lot of mental illness and people need to see they need to see they can't be told it's not working and this is when you tap into this energy you don't understand how powerful it is so the message here says i love the creative adventure that is my life i celebrate myself as a female creator i mean i feel like that is a mic drop i cannot say anything more about how perfect that is so even that mantra maybe this week pause this video at this point screenshot it on your phone or write it down meditate on this mantra tap into some divine feminine music on youtube again i love the creative adventure that is my life i celebrate life as a female creator i mean oh man i love that i love it I don't want to cover up the babies here. Let's not cover up the babies. Beautiful. So I also want to encourage you to, I also want to encourage you to pause, pause this video and sit with the cards or go back and watch this video on silent and get your own messages. I'm just looking at the numbers here. We've got three, which is like the ascended master energy. It's it's the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit energy. We have twenty twos, which is like have faith. What are you worried about? Have faith that what it is that you're worried about will work out. Um, we have the the three and the six here. We have um, the nine energy was a completion of end of cycles. I, I I mean I can't say enough about you creating this energy. Those healers out there, the healers of the planet. As you heal yourself, as you put your hands on yourself, whether it's Reiki, whether it's integrated energy therapy or some other form of healing modality, when you do this on yourself, you're healing your ancestors energy you're healing generations of programs so this is powerful with the healers and then what will happen is you'll invite in and you'll call in people um, and experiences that you can support that are also need your knowledge and wisdom so i cannot say enough about starting with yourself if you're tired and you've been ignoring yourself come back home Come back home, your inner sanctuary. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Please come back to that inner place of stillness within. Oh my God, I'm in love with this reading. This has probably been one of my favorites. Great, so I'm gonna close space thanking 
all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God, source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light that assisted with this guidance for you today. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done. So the symbolism of the feminine energy can be white doves. Uh, or the Holy Spirit energy, any energy of wings, wing energy can also be holy, uh, uh, f feminine energy. Um, this golden energy here, it's, it's an, like every single one of the cards is this golden energy. I mean, you literally even have it in the center here. So I would also say even this golden energy, maybe you'll start seeing yellow cars <laughs> or maybe you'll start seeing the color yellow around. If you start seeing yellow cars, you start seeing that color yellow, maybe you're wearing yellow right now or maybe you're sitting in yellow or maybe you're looking around and yellow is everywhere. Maybe you've got sunlight beaming in your room Room right now um, let me know put it in the comments I would love to hear your experiences um, as you've received these messages or leave me some yellow hearts in the comments all right friends or, or the peace dove that white bird all right well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening and if you have not heard it in a while or nobody's told you I love you so much. God loves you. Trust in the divine. Trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.